So, GTA had a pretty big update. They, for the first time in seven years, added an expansion onto the map. Although it's not a direct expansion, they basically added a new area, and the only way to travel to said area is to begin the heist. So there is a new heist available in-game called the K.O. Perico, if that's how you pronounce it. And you basically have to scout an island, do your recon, find loads of stuff, and then set up your heist. Me and Pete jumped on to play it. We didn't even complete the heist. It just felt so dragged out and so boring for us personally. We probably won't ever go and do it unless we manage to get like a full team of four people. But then at that stage, it's not really going to be worth it with all the cuts for the players. So in order to begin this, the Rockstar have done it yet again. You need to have at least $2.3 million dollars in your GTA balance, because you'll need to head to the casino, you'll have to go to the music locker, which is like a nightclub underground, you'll have to talk to this absolute crackhead that's like some really dodgy character. When I say dodgy, I mean, if you just watch the cutscene, I'm not gonna show it in the video, but if you guys are playing this, you watch the cutscene, just look at this Miguel guy. Look at how much his mum is all over him. Like, this is some like next level freaky sort of shit going on. But you go down, you speak to Miguel, and he tells you that you have to buy this submarine. The submarine costs $2.3 million. It is quite a cool thing to have a submarine, because this submarine has torpedoes. You can look through the periscope, you can drive it around, you can fast travel with it. It's pretty cool. But it's actually kind of irritating at the same time, because you are constantly having to go back to this submarine, and you need to make your own way there. You can't call for a helicopter to come pick you up and drop you off. The only thing you can do, like, you can take your own helicopters, obviously. But you can also, if you're towards, like, if you're fairly close to the submarine, you can call in a dinghy, like a, a little, like, rubber boat thing. And you're just going to drive out there and you can access your submarine. But you start off this heist and you end up on the K.O. Perico Island. There you will be heading to a party and like you're just talking to everyone and then you have to go and find the madrazo files or however you pronounce that you have to go and find these files on the family that are putting you up to doing this heist you also have to scout for secondary targets like loads of different drugs money gold all that sort of stuff that's not the problem that's pretty cool we, we spent a little while dancing as soon as we got onto the island we had a little bit of fun with it but as soon as you start doing this recon you have to do it stealth. You have absolutely no choice in that. If a guard sees you, if a camera sees you, they chuck you back to the party. And you have to explore this entire island. You can't free roam on the island. You can't ever go back there without doing the heist. You can only visit that island when you are mid-heist. Whether that's planning, doing the prep and stuff, or if that's actually taken on the heist. But we started exploring, trying to find our way to the very first objective. Loads of cameras, guards, they've got like a little checkpoint going on. And we decided that we don't want to go straight through. We would like to try and swim, see if there's any, any like other entrance points to the island and stuff. And uh, it turns out we ended up swimming around the entire south part of the island. It took us at least a 10 minutes real life time of just non-stop swimming because they've built all these stupid cliffs and they've put up all of these borders and they've made it an absolute nightmare to do this. It, they've really dragged it out with your very first time of doing your recon. But we managed to get over to the west side of the island, like the southwest part of the island, get on like back onto mainland and we started exploring everything and we managed to do the first part of the actual like preparation. And then after we used all the cameras, we basically scoped the area out. We found our intel. We found a couple of secondary targets. We headed back to Los Santos. We went back to the actual main map of the game. And once we were there, we thought, okay, like bearing in mind this has taken us like an hour, maybe an hour and a half or something. Then all of a sudden, None of that's, like, good enough to go and start this heist. I mean, you've had a look at the island, you found the main part of the intel, you found secondary targets, but that's not enough. What you then need to do is go back to your submarine, you need to go back to the planning screen, you need to start doing preparation. So, we started doing preparation, and what do you have to prepare? The way you're going to infiltrate the island. And we thought, okay, we'll select the submarine, we own one, let's use it. But no. You're not allowed to use your own submarine. 
what you have to do, or you might be able to use it, but what you have to do is start a mission for that, go find another submarine, rob the sonar jammer off it, then travel back to your submarine. But what did they do? They sent us to the Merryweather test site. I parked my submarine, or I left my submarine, south of the airport. Everyone knows the airport is right at the bottom of the map. This Merryweather test site is far top right of the map. And we didn't fast travel, we just jumped in a buzzard, flew over there, grabbed the sonar jammer, went back, and then we noticed the prep, we went to the casino and had to grab a safe code off, like, head of security, and then there is just so much more prep you need to do. Some of it is optional, but at the same time, you have to, like, there are some things that are mandatory for this heist. We had spent about two and a half for three hours just preparing for this heist and we were nowhere near ready to actually crack on with the main thing and all of this preparation stuff you have to do every single time i had just spent 2.3 million dollars on this submarine and that's for the base sub that's without any upgrades no weapon workshop no nothing 2.3 mil is the base amount you will pay for the sub but we managed to do a couple of parts we had a look at the earnings for the heist this, can, this heist can be done solo, so it's a nice thing for solo players to actually have like the accessibility to go and take on a heist. But at the same time, two players, we had found like one of the secondary targets, I think it was a, like a massive bunch of weed or something. But we managed to find that, and um, our cut for the main files, the main objective for this heist, we were looking at 1.1 million. For the secondary target, we were looking at 1.2 so it would have been $2.3 million to complete this entire heist. And you can do more scouting, you can build that money up and make it more, but that's all going to take you more time. This is a GTA heist. To do the prep for the casino heist, going to take you about an hour or something. This prep seems as though it's going to take you a lot longer. There were far too many cutscenes in this. I don't care for the story. I just wanted to do a fucking heist. But there are, like, literally, for your first, like, hour exploring this update, you're going to spend at least, like, 80% of it just sitting there watching cutscenes. And they're non-skippable as well. But for $2.3 million, without all of the secondary targets and everything, what we managed to do, our experience, 2.3 mil, it was never worth spending all that extra time prepping and then taking on the heist. And trust me... It is so boring going and doing the recon on that island. I don't know why they decided to do it how they did it. It is nice to have an expansion. It took them seven years to fucking add in the tiniest island they possibly could have, like, added into the game. But it just, it wasn't fun, like, any part of it. The best part was buying a submarine and just looking inside the sub. Like, just the first impressions of this big-ass submarine. That was the best part of the update for me. It just, it wasn't enjoyable at all. I really think Rockstar have messed up with both this and with Red Dead Online. They were saying, like, they were delivering all of these announcements, like, oh, huge updates coming to the game, and you've got this tiny little island that's inaccessible unless you are in the middle of the heist. There's no free roam options or anything like that. And there's a load of cutscenes and everything. It just, there's no immersion. You, you don't get into this heist anywhere near as much as you do the casino heist. Absolutely no way. But you have that in GTA, and in Red Dead, you have like an expansion to the Bounty Hunter role, and it's all broken. So Rockstar have ended 2020 on a very, very poor note. And what I'm going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about it in the comments. Remember, this is my opinion from my personal experience. I just didn't enjoy it. But let me know how you felt in the comments. I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.